Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, we're gonna to talk about transferring inventory items from one warehouse to another within Acumatica. Let's take a look at our agenda. So inventory transfer processing is pretty simple in Acumatica, but it's pretty cool. So the first step is to enter a sales order. And I know that sounds strange because when we think about sales order, we think about selling an item to a customer. But in this case, the sales order lets you do the shipment processing to tell the system that you've shipped the item. When the item arrives at the destination warehouse, then you can do a receipt entry and release the receipt, which will put the item into that warehouse. So we'll take a look at that. And then we'll take a look at some drill down capability and some of the general ledger posting that occurs. Let's go ahead and start with our sales order entry. So here we are in Acumatica. I'm gonna go open up sales orders and we're gonna create a new sales order. We'll let this get started here. Now for the order type, even though it's defaulting to SO, the standard sales order to sell an item to a customer, we're gonna change the order type to an order type called TR for transfer. And when we do that, it's just going to ask us what the destination warehouse is. So I'll choose my retail warehouse as my destination. And then like a standard sales order, it's gonna ask what item or items I'm going to transfer. So I'll just select our well-known Acer computer and we'll transfer a quantity of 15. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now that the sales order has been done, our next stop is to process the sales order just like you would in a regular sales order, which is to do the shipment processing. So I'm gonna to go to actions, create a shipment, and it's gonna open up the shipment screen. Now we could have gone to the shipment screen automatically and pulled up this particular order, but we'll let this finish. So there's our shipment screen, shipment number 2701. Here's the transfer. Now our next action is to confirm the shipment. We'll go ahead and do that. And then our action is to update our inventory. So you can also do the pick, pack, and ship process if you want to against this as well. So now that's been done, we can move on to our next step. But let's go back to our agenda for a moment. Our next step is to do the purchase order receipt entry and release. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to go into purchases and purchase receipts. We'll create a new receipt. Then much like our sales order entry, we have to pay attention to the type here. The default is a standard purchase order receipt. But if we do the drop down, we can select transfer receipt. And then we can select our warehouse. Now this warehouse is the retail warehouse. This is where we're receiving into. And we can add a transfer. And this will give us a list of all of the transfers that are pending that we could do the receipt against. So let's go ahead and select our transfer sales order, sales order 5102, pull that in and then release it. And there we are. So on our agenda, let's look at some information that can be found as we're doing these processes. So we'll look at some history drill down and we'll look at a report as well. So you might find this interesting. I'm gonna go to the inventory module and I'm gonna show you that there's a report called goods and transit. Here's the goods and transit report and we'll just go ahead and run this. So before I do that receipt, but after I've done the sales order transfer and released it, you will see the items and warehouses on this report. So this report will tell you which items are currently in transit and are waiting to be received at the destination warehouse. Let's go to the sales order again. I'm just gonna call up the sales order and we'll look at the shipments. And here you can see the transfer document that's been completed and the inventory reference number as well. So let's take a look at the inventory one. Here's something that I wanna show you here. So here's the inventory transaction that took the 15 items out of inventory. And I'm gonna to go to the financial details and we're gonna drill into the financial information here and look at the general ledger postings as we transferred this item out. So as we transferred the item out, you can see that it credited the inventory account and then the offset is an inventory account that's also an asset account called goods in transit. So Acumatica has this account, kind of a clearing account for goods in transit. So as you can see, when we take the item out, it's gonna credit the normal inventory account because that item isn't sitting in the warehouse any longer. 
and it's going to debit the goods in transit. So then the assumption is when we receive it in the other warehouse, it should then credit the goods in transit account and debit the inventory asset account for that warehouse. And that's true. Now, I have a couple other general ledger postings here, and this is because of multi-branch capability, and I'm just going to ignore those for this conversation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the receipt. So I'm going to go in the purchase receipts and call the receipt up. And I'm going to go to other information and look at that inventory transaction for the receipt. So this is the inventory transaction that put the item into inventory. And let's look at the financial details for that and drill into that. And what you'll see here on the receipt is now a debit to the inventory account and a credit to the goods and transit account like we anticipated. So as a recap, we talked about sales order entry. Then we did our shipment processing, whatever our normal process is for that. Created the shipments, confirmed that, updated the inventory from that, which took the item out of inventory. Credited the inventory account, debited the goods and transit account. Then we went into purchase order receipt entry and received against this transfer sales order and released that. And then we looked at some of the history that's based on this. So you can see the general ledger postings. You can also drill into the inventory and see the ins and outs, uh, transferred in and out history as well, along with several related reports. You can find us on our YouTube channel, on LinkedIn, or you can contact us directly at erp at nimsassociates.com or give us a call at 877-454-3200, extension 6346. Once again, thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate it.